Hi everyone, Instructor Russell here. Thanks for working so hard this week. We're at the halfway point in this course, so let's continue to work hard on achieving our goals. During week three, we looked at crafting and writing effective business messages. We're building on our knowledge from learning in the three-step writing process in week two to actually utilizing it this week. Good writing skills are key to effective communication in the healthcare industry. When you write your business messages, you want to ensure that your messages are accurate and concise. We also learned that with the expansion of technology, there are so many avenues for writing effective business messages, such as emails, social media, blogs, among others. We saw the vast impact of these channels and how we craft our messages to fit the digital channel. As we find different ways of communicating in the healthcare environment, we must never forget that good communication will always lead to success. Please consider the following career fun fact. Did you know a number of studies have looked into the causes and outcomes of poor communication in medical facilities? And it appears from these studies that the problem is pressing enough to warrant the attention of not just healthcare workers, but also the general public. One study conducted in the late 1990s found that poor communication was responsible for causing between 44 and 98,000 patient deaths annually in American hospitals alone. Other studies found that poor communication was one of the leading causes of preventable deaths in hospitals. 90% of respondents from 18 to 24 years of age said they would trust medical information shared by others on their social media networks. Would you? 31% of healthcare organizations have specific social media guidelines in writing. As future professionals in the healthcare industry, it's important that all methods of communication are clear, concise, and free of error. Your overall demeanor and or tone should conform to the given situation, and a high level of urgency and care should be utilized to ensure optimum results. Some examples of how this can be accomplished is through having routine communication and follow-up with your healthcare team, being direct and assertive in your delivery, in addition to using the appropriate communication type that responds to the designated audience and communication channel. In demonstrating professional etiquette in your interactions with current and potential patients, clients and peers, you'll make a lasting impression and will represent your organization well. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please attend my office hours on Thursdays and Fridays in the evenings or email me to set up an appointment at a time that works better for you. Thanks for listening and let's get ready for an awesome week and an awesome week four in 2150. Thank you.